All right, so here I have already created one JSON file named this is history.json which contain the patient demographic information like ID, patient, gender and his or her disease history like this in the array and here I have one index.html file and we are going to load this JSON file into this HTML page using the XML HTTP request or say AJAX. So first let us declare the XML HTTP request object equal to new XML HTTP request. And now let's provide the required parameter to the open method to invoke our request. So the first parameter indicate how you are going to get the information. So over here you can use get, post, put, etc. The second parameter is the path to our JSON file. So over here we need to write our JSON file name. And then the last parameter is whether to execute this request asynchronously or not. So in our case, it should be true. And then when the request is successful and data is ready to load, then we want to call on load method. So for that, let's define the function. We will get our Ajax response in response text. So we need to parse this string as JSON object using JSON.parse method. So let us write JSON.parse and let us assign this generated response in one variable. And then I want to see it in browser console. So for that, let us use console.log function. And now it's time to execute this entire process. So for that, I need to use this send function. So now we are done with the code. And now let us run this page in the browser. So to run this page, I have already configured open live server. So let me click on this and let us run this page in the browser. So as you can see here that we are now able to see this, this is history.json object into the browser console. If we expand this patient array, then we are able to see the patient 1 and patient 2 object. And if I expand this patient 1 object further, then we can see the disease history like this. And as we have already learned in the previous video that if you want to access this particular value, then you can access it using dot annotation. As you can see in the tooltip that I can access this particular information like this. So let us write down the same in this console log. So now when I save this code, the page in the right hand side gets automatically refreshed and we will get the expected data which we want. So this is how you can get the JSON data using Ajax request and you can manipulate the JSON object like this. All right. Now what happened? If I intentionally rename this JSON file, which is not exist in our project directory. Now, if I save this project, then you can here see that we will get a 404 page not found error. So to get rid of this error, we need to check the status. So in Ajax request, you will get a different different response status. If the response status is 200, which means OK, and our response gets successfully loaded without any error. And if you get 403, it means our request gets forbidden. And 404 means resource not found. Now let's move to our example. So now let us check the error status in one if condition. Now when I save this code, the page gets refreshed and you can see our console error message and by the way you can ignore this error and now if i add the correct json name over here and save the code then the error gets disappeared and you will get the expected data over here so this is how you can handle the exception by checking the request status like this now let's move ahead 